Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures here. Thanks for tuning in and watching the video today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. It'd be great to have you along on the journey. Just click the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner there. That'll give you access to all my other videos and notifications when I update new videos. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, if you're like me, you've only got one motorbike and you like to take your bike both on the road and off the road, you need a set of road tyres like I've got on the bike at the moment. And of course, when you're riding off-road, a good set of knobbly tyres. That means, of course, changing your tyres. Normally, that costs me about 70 to 80 pounds. Uh, so what I want to start doing is reduce the amount of money I pay for changing my tyres by removing the wheels and only taking the wheels into my tyre dealer rather than taking the whole bike in and paying them for labour to remove the wheels. So if that's of some interest to you, I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the wheel on your motorbike. Keep watching and let's get into it. Um, I like to remove the uh, chain guard on my bike and there are two 4mm Allen key nuts here and there's one uh, spider web key here uh, to take off for, and that just means that uh, when you take your wheel on and off the end of the uh, uh, chain guard is not going to get in any way so let's just um, take those off right now. Next job is to remove the speed sensor, and that's it here. So this is the 4mm Allen key that you'll need here. So that's your speed sensor. Sensor, we need to remove that and make sure that that uh, speed sensor is just put out the way. Okay, next job now is to uh, remove the axle nut. For that, you will need your breaker bar and your 32mm uh, socket to unlock uh, and loosen off this um, axle nut. So now, with the 32 mm socket on, let's crack this axle nut. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Might need a few turns just to get it finger loose. There we go. That's finger loose now, so you should be able to un unloosen that now and take that all the way off. Next job now is to remove the axle. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use my, my foot to support the wheel, push the axle through. We can take this out, push the axle through, give some support to the wheel. Now axle's removed. What we need to do now is just to push the wheel forward so we can remove the chain chain's removed and now what we can do keep the, the wheel at the height that it is just pull back just pull back nice and gently rest it on the ground and then just you'll need to uh, tilt the wheel to the away from your brake calipers so it doesn't uh, hit the brake calipers and just wheel your rear wheel out your rear wheel also has a spacer on the side here, so be sure not to lose that. You'll need that to go uh, to stay there for when you uh, replace the wheel. So that's the rear wheel off the bike now. So um, that wheel is ready to go to the tyre manufacturer, the tyre supplier, and have my uh, tyre change from road to a knobbly tyre. So you'll bring the tyre back and the wheel back, and obviously you'll need to reinstall it. So let me now show you how to reinstall it and make sure that everything is done properly. So refitting the wheel is uh, a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's not too hard, you just gotta to remember to do a couple of things. So first things that we need to do is to position the wheel so that we can tilt it inwards so that we miss the brake calipers here and then just roll that wheel in so that um, it, the, the, the tire edge and the wheel passes the brake calipers and then we can straighten that wheel up before we attempt to, to fit it in. Uh, so what you also need to remember is that your spacer, your wheel spacer is in. Now, you don't want to push your wheel too far in. It needs to be just, just sitting back so that the edge of the wheel is very close to your calipers. And the reason for that is, um, is because we've got to lift the wheel up first and then slide it into position. If you position the disc directly under the uh, calipers, uh, you are not going to be able to fit it properly. So um, with that in mind, what we need to do, get very close enough to the wheel so we can give it some, some, some support with a foot or a knee. And what I'm going to do now is just put my foot underneath the wheel and I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to lift up. Disc has gone in the brake calipers. Make sure your spacers doesn't pop out. Now 
there we have it. So that's in position now, ready for the uh, uh, the axle to go back in. So let's put the axle back in now. Right, that's now holding the wheel in position, the axle. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that um, the axle doesn't come all the way through because remember we need to push the wheel forward so that I can get the chain back on very comfortably without any problems. Right, that's the wheel back on the bike. Just pull the wheel back so that your chain is tight. Now push your axle all the way back in. There we go. Just a matter of lining it up properly. The, um, the axle is now all the way through. Um, reinstall your chain tightening bolt. That should slide on nicely. That's on. And now we put back on the nut, finger tight, there we have it. Now our next job is to make sure that the, the markings on your chain tightener are identical on both sides before you tighten up the axle nut. So these markings here, you've got markings on your ch chain tightener as well as the swing arm. Make sure that they are lined up exactly the same before you tighten up the axle nut. So before we reinstall the speed sensor, we need to make sure that the axle nut is set at 90 newton meters of torque. That's the KTM recommendation, the KTM manufacturer's recommendation for the, the axle nut. So we set your torque wrench to the appropriate um, level and there we go. That's the KTM axle nut uh, now set to 90 newton meters on torque. So it's safely back on. Next thing to do now, reinstall the speed sensor. Let's put the speed sensor back in and four mil Allen key. Screw that back up. Hand tight. Job done. So all that's left for me to do now is to in in reinstall my chain guard and now then that's this rear wheel re reinstalled on the bike. Uh, before you go out and do a proper ride, just do a test up and down your road, your brake calipers would have loosened off a little bit. So you'll need to pump your brake lever just to make sure they tighten back up and make sure that they're working properly before you go out and do a, a proper ride. So just make sure of that. Um, so I hope that's been of some interest to you. If it has, please give me a like and a, and a share if you know anybody else that could benefit from knowing how to remove the rear wheel and reinstall on their uh, adventure motorbike, then please share with them. Uh, and as a reminder, um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, bottom right hand corner subscription button, just click that. You get access to all my other videos. Thanks for watching until the end and uh, I hope to see you again very soon.